guys, Joe Wanna coming back in with another battle replay here in Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges. The settlement we are on today is Persepolis. Pers Persepolis? Not sure, you guys are gonna have to say. You guys are gonna have to let me down, know down in the comment section below. But we do have a 4v3 here. Let's get into the attackers. We'll start off on this side with Egypt and Odrissian Kingdom. Egypt here is being commanded by Captain Merica. I'm sorry. Egypt's being commanded by Archisol. Ar Archilosol. Okay. Four units of Royal Thorax Swordsmen, four Thorax Swordsmen, four units of Thoreo Spears, two Hellenic Royal Guard, two Cretan Archers, two Slingers, one Onager, and his generals, a unit of Royal Peltests. Then we have Odrissian Kingdom here being commanded by Captain America. He is bringing with him nine units of Thracian nobles, five Thracian warriors, four of the Thracian bows, one heavy onager, and his general is a unit of the royal cavalry. Switching on over to the other side here, we do have our Verney, who's being commanded by Wack, Wickwack, I don't know, Wickwack, I, I don't know how to say some of your guys' names. Uh, he is bringing with him four units of chosen swords, four naked warriors, five oats sworn, one of those being his general, two heavy horse, one heavy onager. And I noticed right off the bat, he's got his four naked swords on the tortoises, so I don't think the naked swords are going to be alive very long. Just my personal opinion. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Um, getting into Carthage over here, we have Patricol II. Again, a name that I don't know how to say. So he is bringing with him seven units of Libyan infantry, three Samnite warriors, two noble fighters, two African pikemen, two units of Cretan archers, two Balearic slingers, one heavy onager, and his general is a noble cavalry. Then we move in here to the defenders. We start off here with Kush, who's being commanded by Hey Sargo. He is bringing with him nine units of Shoto warriors, three armored Shoto warriors, one Kushite pike, one unit of Kushite slave infantry, four royal Kushite archers, his general is a unit of Royal Guard, the cavalry. Uh, then we get into Macaromani, who's actually a faction I really hardly ever see at all. Uh, he is being commanded by Sabanzin. Sabanzin. There you go, I think I got that one. Seven units of Warden as Spears, three Noble Guard, two units of Wolf Warriors, four Noble Women Archers, and his general is a unit of the Noble Bodyguard. I'm guessing this is like a Swaby. I mean, a wooden as spear. Swaby has wooden as spear. So, uh, obviously, this is not Grand Campaign. Uh, at least these two factions, because Armenia does not have this kind of units in regular, like the the pikes up here. Armenia doesn't have pikes, so this is obviously not a Grand Campaign army here. But getting into Armenia, who's being commanded by Inores, he is bringing with him six units of armored axe warriors, three eastern axe warriors. Three units of Eastern Infantry, two Azat Guard, one Armored Pikeman, four units of Noble Archers, and his general is an Azat Knight's Bodyguard. Now, I had already started the battle, so I'm not entirely sure what all I've missed. Apparently, we have had some Archers move up here, and looks like the Ballista actually has been broken here for Macromani already. So, well done there. We do get some units here from Egypt climbing up onto the towers. We have four units of Royal Thorax Swordsmen up on the wall here. Hopefully they'll start coming down because they're just going to keep taking losses. Let's see what's going on on the other side here for Carthage and Arverni. Carthage has moved, look at this. Carthage has moved all of his towers up here. Probably getting some shot. Yeah, look at that. Look at all these guys dead. I don't know if that's just from the artillery. Let's take a look. I don't think the artillery has done any of that damage. This one definitely not. So that all of those dead guys, all of those dead bodies came from these towers. Absolutely, that's crazy. That's a lot of Chateau warriors right there, I think. Let's take a look. Nope. Nope. Where are the warriors? Where's the units that got damaged? Uh, oh, there you go. Chateau warrior unit down to 76 men. So, yeah, I'm going to guess that that's... That's probably about uh, 20, 20 men or so. So, yep. Okay. Well, let's get back over here. Does look like Egypt is starting to get some of his units off. Thorax sword, Royal Thorax Swordsman, sorry. Climbing down now. Taking on some of the Germanic Swordsmen. So, let's check out the Germanic Swordsman uh, stats. Melee attack 40. Weapon damage 34. Melee defense 39. Armor 60. So, against Royal Thorax, 46, 40, 64, 80. So, the, you know, the Germanic 
Swordsman, they'll be able to hold for a little while, but eventually the Royal Thoric, well, no, this unit's already pretty damaged. So they might not turn it around. Maybe they will. 93, 108, 91, 108. So, yeah, maybe the Germanics are going to turn it around. I mean, they also do have a unit of wooden as spears here that could absolutely just come in, just form up here, and just get a nice little flanking charge in there because, well, I mean, they could... These Royal Thor, there they go. He's going to just push him in, just straight in on the side there. Good job, good charge in there. Let's see how it's going on the other side. Actually, Armenia is losing a unit of his Eastern Infantry around over here. But this more dramatic Noble Guard on this side holding back two units of Thorax Swords. We do have archers here from the Adrissian Kingdom getting some good volleys up over the wall. Four kills and one kill so far for those units. Hopefully, yeah, it looks like they're firing into the flank of this dramatic noble guard unit and you guys can see that there are only 120 man units so these are not the ultra sized units Let's see what's going on back over here we actually have two generals outside the Azad knight bodyguard and the kushite royal guard general both outside of the settlement have not really gotten involved in combat though they both have zero kills back over here royal thorax swordsman just not standing up to the wooden as spears <laughs> wooden as spears getting the better of the royal thorax swordsman which I know for a fact that is definitely not just the Wooden Ash Spears doing it by themselves. There was a lot of, I'm going to say, I'm going to guess that there was a decent amount of Archer Volleys that came into that unit first. Speaking of Archer Volleys, starting to lose a unit of Cretan Archers here is Egypt. Down to 30 men left, 38 kills, but they are routing, so maybe they'll be able to come back. 30 men still, like I said. Let's get back over onto this side here. Carthage is now shifting all of his towers down this way I I don't understand what Carthage is doing there but Arverni charging in his uh, shock infantry very very lightly armored shock infantry in here first to come around and start capturing towers and everything which I mean I guess they're what well, I guess he thinks they're his cheap well yeah by his army they are the cheapest units but yeah, I still wouldn't be using them the way that he's using them. Yeah, I would probably would have taken only f two units of Naked Warriors and a couple of more extra units of Celtic Warriors, honestly. That's probably what my army composition would have been. But we do have the Armenian General back inside the settlement. Kush General still pulling around. I don't think that we've seen the uh, Gallic Hunters yet for Arverni. I mean, that's if he even brought them. I would imagine that he probably did. He doesn't look like he's got 20 stack. And with the amount of funds that these guys had, I mean, nine Chotel Warriors, that's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, I would imagine that there's definitely still funds somewhere in the bank to be able to have brought the Gallic Hunters. But let's get into some of the fighting here. And of course, as soon as I go to zoom in, they stop fighting. Everybody pulls away from each other. Odrissian Kingdom has lost a unit of his Thracian warriors already on this side, though. 21 kills, but we do still have these two units of Thorax Swordsmen, so hopefully they'll start doing something. What is that? Archer Fire? I hear Archer Fire. There it is. Archer Fire here from the Mo Mo Armenian Archers? No? I thought I heard Archer Fire. I could have sworn I did. Still no real fighting over there, so let's get back over here onto this wall side. Royal Thorax Swordsman still being held back by the Woden Ice Spears, but now with two units here, the Woden Ice Spears will obviously begin to lose this fight. But right there, we did see another unit come charging in onto the flanks of the Th Royal Thorax. It was a unit of Wolf Warriors come in here 46 kills so far for them there is still this unit of eastern infantry just hanging out do have some eastern axe warriors here getting ready to throw a volley of javelins so that should be really good if they actually do choose to fire it at the smaller unit oh, look at that horse right there nice standard it's definitely a nice standard there goes one of the units for all four swordsmen you can see they're just running away getting out of the gate. Looks like the second unit just broke as well. They did. Well, the second unit routed. The first one shattered. Yeah, that first unit is done. They are not coming back at all. 
So, so far on this side, the defense is going pretty well. We do have two more units of Thorax, Royal Thorax Swordsmen here. Look like they're going to start making their way in towards these Warden as Spears. Dramatic Swordsmen, still another unit over here. Really beaten up. Well, not really beaten up. Only eight, There's only 40 or 38 men out of this unit. But they are taking a lot of shots. Mercenary Cretan Archers firing away up here onto a unit of Woden as Spears. Okay. Let's get back over here. Has this hill begun? It absolutely has. We have some Mercenary Sam Knight Warriors that were sent in first. Just sending in the some of his tougher units first there. We have lining up here some more Shotel Warriors here. We still do have this front line of Woden as Spears that are in their wedge formation, which uh, are you going to charge them in? It's definitely a good idea to get a higher charge bonus and melee attack, but in prolonged combat, acceleration and melee defense, melee defense is the big thing that they're going to lose. I mean, they still, they have, their melee defense is already pretty good, 62, but I don't know why you would just take away the uh, take away the, the, the extra melee defense if you're going to leave them in for prolonged. I don't know. It's just my opinion. But let's see what Arverni is doing. Did he... Yeah, nope. He's still charging his... <laughs> he's just bringing his, his legions or, or, or... Yeah. This is... I, I guess you could call it a small horde of, of naked men. Naked warriors running around. I think they're just crumbling. I think they're just going around capturing towers. Uh, the Kush General is way over here. That I don't know what the Kush General is doing. Honestly, he's just kind of hanging out over there. He is hidden, so I guess that's, there's that. But uh, the Armenian general has actually made his way back out of the settlement also. Boy, back! back over on this side, though. Oh, Odrysian kingdoms. Well, no, nope. he started to make a little bit of damage here, but now he's having another one of his units here starting to shatter. There they go. They're out. But he's got a full unit of Thracian nobles now inside the settlement, and they're going to get a good charge in onto these Eastern Axe warriors. So it does look like this side of the settlement is starting to fall in favor of the attackers. Look at those swords. Look at the size of those swords. I bet those things are razor sharp. Razor, razor sharp. doing in the rest of the battle here starting to see ooh, another unit of the eastern infantry here which i think is like a throwaway unit pretty much for the the uh non-grand campaign armenia i don't think they have anything called eastern infantry i think they have like axe warriors and cartley axe warriors stuff like that pretty sure that's what armenia has but thorax swordsmen here victorious nonetheless i'd bring them around this way I wouldn't even bother going over here. Thorax swordsmen come around this way, meet up with the nobles, and just start bum rushing this side of the field. Come wrap around here and just get around. And yeah, that's that's what I would do. I would try and outflank Armenia as best as possible. But it does look like Armenia is starting to see that. Oh, he's got traps here. I'm gonna guess that Armenia did not put these traps here. He must not have been aware that they were there. Which again. Deployables. Deployables. Disgusting. Look at this. Look at this hill. That's gross. That is so disgusting to me. Like, they, no. <laughs> like, not cool at all. Really not cool at all. Back over on this side, though, I have been focusing on the opposite side of the battlefield, so we're going to hang out over here for just a bit. stuff rumbling up the hill yes i do what do we have here two units of libyan infantry will be following up behind the other oh oh the sam knights oh there's two sam knights left so one of the sam knight warriors already broke 
I'm assuming. Probably. But we got more infantry moving up. These African pikemen could absolutely be really beneficial right here for Carthage to be able to break through. Uh, honestly, it, oh no! Naked warriors. Is that the final unit? Yep, they're all dead. Unbelievable. Look at all these naked warriors. Oh my god. This is why. This is why you don't use naked warriors as your scouting force because they're just going to get murdered. Armenia sent over two units of axe warriors here and his general. And there you go. Four units of, in my opinion, really good light shock infantry are, are gone. Completely gone. Probably didn't really get very many kills. Six out of the general unit. Uh, this unit's lost 29. And this unit lost 13. So, yeah, four units of pretty good light light shock infantry just gone. Wasted, in my opinion. Completely wasted. Back over on this side, though, Drishian Kingdom getting a lot more of his Thracian nobles in here. So this is going to start being a problem. For the defenders, as you did see already, Armenia has pulled back. I don't really think yet, so... Macromani is just going to leave these couple of units still on this side. Armenia is losing one more unit of his Axe Warriors there. But they have begun to start a defensive line here. Two units of Armored Axe Warriors there for Armenia. He's going to send the rest of his units up and around here. Probably back up in towards the town center, which I don't think I said in the beginning. This right here is the town center, so this is a inner keep battle, but we are having a 4v3, so it's kind of even. Kind of. Kind of even. Royal Kushite Archers not fired a single arrow yet. Ooh, that's good, actually. But yeah, these uh, fireballs probably not going to be used unless the attackers decide to just send them down after all of their infantry is up here. This, to me, is scary. Five units of OS-1 here for our Verney. That is a little worrisome. A little worrisome for the defenders. Um, I mean, they have, they do have armored Shoto warriors here. They have three units of those. A uh, decent amount of Shoto warriors still back there in reserve. But still, OS-1 is nasty. Oh, look, the Kushite General rode all the way over here now. And he's just sitting by the red line. Hidden again. Very interesting. Heavy Onager here is actually starting to knock the... He see, okay, Heavy Onagers, pretty good, but they can't fit through the gates. You actually have to knock down a wall section to bring them in because it would take probably forever and a day to try and get them around the on, around the uh, tortoises there. So that sucks. He's going to have to use some of his own ammunition. But manually firing, he'll only be using one at a time. Which, if you guys, again, don't know how to manually fire, you just simply click on the unit, hit insert, and then you can pr press page up and page down to cycle through the four onagers. Just make sure that auto fire is turned off, and you will only fire one at a time. But let's see what's going on. Yeah, we have Justian Kingdom here starting to move around, grab some more towers. Egypt lining up down here at the bottom. Two units of the Hellenic Royal Guard right here, waiting to start pressing up the hill there. Oh, they're going to shift. No, they're shifting up. They're moving forward. So this is going to be a pretty difficult fight for the attackers to get up this hill. But I think they might be able to do it. But all of those nobles on the other side there from the Odrissian Kingdom, they might just be able to get up the hill. I don't know if they're going to get into the, into the inside settlement here. But... Uh, they might be able to make it up the hill. Carthage on this side, so far still just being held. Actually, Kush Pikes are in the mix here. 79 kills for them so far, only lost one man. Pretty sure the last time I was on this settlement and I did a replay that Kush was on, the Kushite Pikes here, pretty sure one of the Kushite Pikes had like 400 kills. So, obviously choke point battles are in favor of Pike units, but Kush Pikes really aren't that good. So, we'll see. We'll see how this this uh, this unit fares compared to the last one. Some wolf warriors here. Two more units of Showtel warriors still holding back. Mercenary Samnite warriors. Looks like the other unit. What shattered right there? 
That is a unit of Libyan infantry, 35 men left in the unit. They have broken 49 kills to their name. Might want to start bringing your archer. Where are your archers? Oh, yeah, bring your archers and ranged in here, dude. Start trying to do some damage. Because it doesn't look like the defenders actually left any of their wall artillery up on, uh, on the wall in here. So, what is this? Woden has spears coming all the way around. Not sure what he's planning on doing. He'd walk into death anyway because all of the so sworn and the cavalry. But speaking of cavalry, the Kush general has decided to charge in on the noble cav gen along with two units of mercenary noble fighters. I don't think that he even actually got any kills on the range. Does not look as though no kills on the Onager crew either. So the general... Not sure exactly what he was aiming for. He might have seen something that maybe I was focusing somewhere else on and I didn't see. But we do have the Heavy Onager for Carthage starting to fire now. And look what they're doing. Okay, so if you guys did not know, you can actually break this wall down and have units come around here and come through here. So this is actually something I haven't seen done in a pretty long time. But you can definitely knock down this wall and just br start pressing units through here guessing that's what our Verney's ready to, getting ready to do. Lost a unit of chosen swordsmen here from what? Archers. This one unit of archers just killed exactly 80 of these chosen swords they have now routed. Hopefully they, hopefully they come back, but now Carthage going to send up more of his forces. Three more units of Libyan infantry. Come on, shot. Get this wall. Bring it forward. Bring it closer. I'd bring him. I'd move it up. Is that out of ammo? Did he... Did he... No, he still got shots. Okay. I was going to say, did he just waste all of that for nothing? All right. So, back over on the other side, it does look like Egypt is going to be the first starting army again. Onager crew coming around. 18 kills. What did they use their Onager for? Here's the Odrissian Kingdom Onager. Where is their Onager? Uh... I don't know. It's only got 18 kills. Where is the onager for them? Did it get blown up? No, it's right there. I guess he used all of his ammunition. That sucks. With the with the Greek onager like that, he could have brought it right through that gate and probably had a field day on this hill. But all right, here we go. Like I said, some Royal Thorax swordsmen just standing here taking a lot of javelins. Looks like they took a piece of that. Yeah, more coming in. There we go. Armored Axe Warriors going to start charging down the hill here. Get a little bit extra of a charge bonus from going downhill. I don't think it works that way. But anyway, cinematically wise, we'll say it that way. But we did have some Axe Warriors charge down. Another unit of Armored Axe Warriors here just hanging out. Some Thoreo Spears getting some Javelin Volleys up of their own. Here comes some Thorax, regular Thorax Swordsmen. Going to back up the Royal Thorax Swordsmen. For Egypt, let's see what Odrissian Kingdom is doing. Odrissian Kingdom kind of just still bringing his units inside the settlement. We do have the Onager crew here for Egypt just running along still. But yeah, Odrissian Kingdom looks like he's going to be the second unit, yeah, second army to come in. Just like on this side. Oh no, they did knock down this section. Here it comes. Libyan infantry making their way in. Three units of chosen swords. Another So the attackers just throwing units in here through this breach point. Kushite slave infantry will be the first unit, but look at all of those javelins coming in. And a lot of those infantry units still up on the rubble through the breach point. So there's going to be a lot of death here from javelins. Infantry charging in here now, or are they just shifting around? Nope. Kushites, uh, Shoto warriors, and the slave infantry here still fighting away. See how this front wall is doing, or this front pass through, I should say. Oh, African pikemen coming in. Where's the Kush pikes? Are they dead? Did the Kush pikes break? Don't see them. Think they are gone. Uh, these African pikemen could absolutely just flesh out completely across here. Just do this and just start moving in. 
Yeah, Showtel Warrior starting to break. This Showtel Warrior unit not looking too solid anymore. Oh, actually, Carthage was able to get a unit of his uh, Samnite Warriors through, but they are dead. 58 kills for them. Still, still got his range all the way back here. I don't know why. I really don't understand why Carthage has his range still back here. Push the rest of your army forward, dude. Just get him up there. Uh, here comes that wooden spear unit that was running around for Macromani. And they've made it inside the settlement, but they're just they're just eating javelins. And there they go. They oh my god. Not a single man got away. Look at that dude. Oh, there's the Gallic Hunters. Yep, did you see some of them there? So they did bring at least two. I saw two flags from the Gallic Hunters. But well, let's see how, uh, actually, let's see how this is doing. It does look like the defenders are doing an okay job, but again, we have some more Shotel Warriors who start to break. And Carthage actually getting a unit of Libyan infantry around the end here. So Shotel Warriors are going to have to chase these Libyan infantry down to be able to stop them. But that's actually advantageous. Advantageous. There we go. For the Kushite Royal Guard here, because they're now going to be able to just fire straight down into the backs of these Libyan infantry. Hopefully that's what they start doing. Come on, Kush. Come on, fire straight down. Yes, there you go. Beautiful. Getting into the backs of these guys. Shotel Warriors here. Actually, wow, their morale did not look very good. Did he lose? Oh, that's right. He lost his general. Kush lost his general. That's going to be a little rough. That's going to make things a little bit tougher for Kush over here with their already... Uh, declining morale because their general is dead swing back over on the other side here see how this hill is doing oh god Hellenic Royal Guard is that both units it is they're gonna start coming up but we still do have the noble Armenian archers here getting some shots down looks like he brought three of his units out does he still have one up near the town center could have sworn he had four units did he lose one maybe already Let's see, one, two, three, hmm, nope, I only see three units of them, so maybe he already lost, but look at this, 238 kills for that unit, this unit here with 95, and this unit here, 92, so we do have, oh, nope, Egypt is actually falling back now, maybe it's Odrissian Kingdom's turn to start trying to break in through here, it's possible. It is definitely possible. I mean, I think those noble fight the uh, Thracian nobles would have a easy way of just breaking through there. And look here, yep, Odrysian Kingdom having to use ammunition on this side to break down a wall section as well. But it looks like he is actually manually firing because you can see just one of the onagers is firing. Once it finishes loading, see, just one of them is firing. So that is insert and just manually firing with right right uh, button right right mouse button to zoom in left mouse button to fire but back down over here yeah Kush is starting to look like he's getting a little bit beaten up Shotel Warriors armored Shotel Warriors both units pressed in on this side do have some of the Royal Kushite archers down on the ground here he's trying to get some shots in probably trying to shoot at the African pikemen 28 kills for them so far 75 men left in the unit Oh, there's a picture of a foot. Sorry about that. Zoom in on a foot there for you. Is that archer fire? It is. So Carthage finally bringing his archers inside. There you go. See? There's some of the Gullic Hunters here starting to show themselves a little bit. One, two... Three, four units of them right here. Oh, God, yep. They're just... Oh, they're on free fire. They're on auto fire. No, they're wasting ammo on broken units. Definitely don't want to see that. Definitely do not want to see that, but I guess the Arverni player just wants to get some extra kills for his archers that he doesn't have to be responsible for. Yeah, I always recommend turning auto fire off and absolutely turning on guard mode. But back over here, the defenders really held this area very effectively. 
Armored Shotel Warrior 73, regular Shotels 127, 52, and 62. That Libyan Infantry unit that tried to get around over here looks like it has been completely annihilated. 117 kills for these Royal Kushite Archers, these ones here with 83. So numbers starting to pick up. Oh, we got artillery. Oh, the Arverni artillery, okay. I was going to say, the Carthage artillery is way over here, and I don't know, again, no idea what he's trying to do. I mean, he's there's zero reason for it, for being all the way back there. He could easily bring it closer to have a better shot. But yeah, the Arverni artillery here now starting to fire. Three kills so far. Front line for Kush still holding. Still holding for now, but these Osworn... These those ones start getting into the mix. That should start turning the tide a little bit. Where is Arverni firing? Is he just trying to hit units as they're retreating? I don't think he wants to do that. All right, here we go. Some Another unit of African Pikemen. Actually, first unit not looking good at all. Only 87 kills down to 37 men. They might actually be getting shot from behind. Maybe some friendly fire, but there they go. They are going to be broken here soon. We do have three, four units of Osworn charging their way over here, which is definitely a good idea. They can try and break through here very quickly. It actually looks like some of more of the attacking forces are starting to waver. But the Osworn digging in here now. Who's firing flame shot? Is that the Kushite archers firing flame arrows? Let's see. I think it is. Come on. Go ahead, fire. I want to see if it's you guys. Nope. Okay, so they switched back to regular ammo. That's good. That is definitely... No, somebody's still shooting fire arrows. Who the hell is shooting fire arrows? That is not going to be good because it's going to damage your own soul. Oh, it's this. Oh, okay. Never mind then. He's firing down over this way. Good idea. Good idea, but the, yeah, three units, four units arranged here for Carthage, still pulling back. Gallic Hunter still here. They could definitely cause some sort of damage, but it does look like Armenia has fallen all the way back, pretty much all the way back inside the inside the inner keep here now. Pretty solid defensive line over here. Wooden has spears. Two units of Germanic pikes. Two more units of the Germanic noble guard here. But there's still a lot of nobles over here. A lot of Thracian nobles over here. They do still have... Do they have any more of their Thracian warriors? Doesn't look like it. Looks like all of their Thracian warriors have been exhausted. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who is firing that? Is that the Arverni? Firing all the way over there. That's actually a pretty awesome tactic. Yes. Firing all the way across, clear to the other side here, trying to help his ally out. Is he hitting the town? Oh no, he got some kills. Yeah, he definitely got some kills there. And now the Odrysian Kingdom artillery starting to fire as well. Ooh, this, this could start turning around. This defense right here could actually mean nothing if these artillery shots actually do land clean. And they are starting to hit some of the noble guard here. Getting into some of the noble uh, Wodnir spears as well. So some of this defense is starting to take some damage before melee even takes place. These guys still have ranged. Where are the Odrysians archers? Are they gone? Uh, I don't see them. Odrysian kingdom archers I don't see. We see one unit of the Cretan archers left here for Egypt. 81 kills. So they do still have a little bit of ammunition over there. How did that not light on fire? I don't know how that one didn't light on fire, but let's get back over on this side. Our Vernier with those four units of the Oswarn breaking in here. This could be a problem, but Armenia did send over ooh, his pikes. He sent over his unit of armored Armenian pikemen over here to help Kush out. African pikemen here now down to 13 men, 22 kills. That is pretty rough. Actually, Kush starting to stress out on this side as well. You know, the armored Chotel warriors coming out, going to cut into these chosen swords. They might actually be able to beat both of these units. They might be able to beat them both. That would be huge. Uh, now we have some cavalry for our Verney charging this choke point. 
with Armenian, both units of Pike. Oh God, both units of heavy horse there for Armenia, charging in. We have the Azat Knight General over here. Yep, Azat Knight General is over here also. But yeah, I don't think that heavy horse should have been charging in here. That's not a good idea. The Pikes right here, not a good, not a good look. Azat Guard here as well. Very solid infantry. being successful. Oh no, Arverni sent his cavalry over here as well. Looks like maybe, did he send one or two? No, he sent both units over here. Mm -mm -mm. Chosen swords here starting to break down. There you go. So I think that this might actually still be held. Actually, the unit of the Royal Kushite archers have come out here as well into melee. What do we have swinging over here? There we go. Azad guard making their way over here. Heavy spear. They should be able to do some good damage. Uh, let's see how we're doing back over on this side. Uh, two kills so far for the Dacian Heavy Onager. Looks... No way. He can't be out of ammunition, is he? Wow. I hope he's not out of ammo. Still a lot of defense here. Lots and lots and lots of defense. Oh, but the Arverni... Is that the Arverni artillery still firing? Let's take a look. Yep, Arverni fire. Oh, wow. 195 kills for our, the Arverni artillery. Still firing over in this direction. Not sure exactly. Luckily, it looks like he's trying to shoot at the Macromani general, the Germanic noble bodyguard there. Not really taking any more shots over here. Um, or maybe he is. Another just errant shot came all the way over here. Nope, there you go. So, Drissian Kingdoms does still have ammo. Okay, good. Very good. Look at that. That's manual fire right there. That's I think that's like shotgun manual fire or whatever it is. But yeah, Adrian Kingdom still firing up over here. Is he trying to hit the fireballs, I guess? So that's like the second one that's hit. I don't think you can light those on fire, bud, so just Oh, that is way off target. Way, way, way off target. Yeah. Bet he wishes had that shot back. All right, let's get back over on this side. Arverni, yeah, these Oswans starting to make a good push. Starting to make a good push here. Breaking another unit of the arm of the regular Shotel Warriors there. Actually, wait, nope, the defenders are actually coming out and around and starting to surround this way. Macromani has a lot of forces over there. I think, yeah, Armenia can just fill in for Kush on this side. Because Kush really doesn't have a lot left. The uh, Gallic Hunters now starting to show their faces. Volleying up into that choke point there. Royal Kushard Archers firing back. Is that a unit of cavalry dying? Yep. Six cavalry left in that. 195 kills for them. This unit here with 53 kills. 14 left. They're going to break. So good job by the defenders. Good push out on this side. Because now they should be able to come around. Or at least send some units. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I don't think these are going to get down there, though. They might. Nope, they're all just going to hit into the rocks. But that's going to force the attackers to move their range back. So good job there by the defenders. Going to send in a unit of the armored Shotel warriors in onto the backs of these Osworn here. Good job by the defenders. Really, really good job. Even if it doesn't kill anything, it's forcing them back. 
force back all of these units of range there, which is going to allow these couple of melee units to get into the thick of the fight over here and start breaking up all these Osworn. So Arverni, not looking good now. He started, to, it looked like he was getting a pretty good foothold over on this side, but there goes his Osworn. All gone. Very well done there by the defenders. Let's get back over on this side. Still, artillery still firing. Is that the Odrissian Kingdom artillery still firing? Has to be. That's the only artillery over here. But yeah, not really, not not really very much of a push coming from this side. We did have one lone unit of Thoreo spears that came up here. I don't know what they were doing. Maybe they were trying to get up there to break some of the uh, fire, fire fireball traps. But actually, does he still have ammo? I think the heavy onager still has shots. Because I just saw another volley come in here. Yep. Oh, there goes another one way over there. Not really very effective. I still... Oh, Carthage is starting to fire again. Okay, let's see what he's firing at. Advance at speed. Oh, at that speed. might have been a pretty good shot. Uh, yeah, I see one guy. One guy on fire, but here comes some more coming in here. But there's no more infantry over here. Yeah, the attackers on this side have no more infantry aside of the Osworn general for Arverni. So here comes the Armenian general barreling down this hill, and he's going to get into all of these archers. Because I don't think the Osworn general's moving. Nope, he's not. He's just standing there. So let's follow the Armenian general in here. Oh, there's all of the Gallic hunters as well. Yeah, pull away. Quickly as that bodyguard, run away, run away, you're gonna die. Down to 15, he's actually getting shot at by the tower as well. Armenian general unit, get away, keep going. Still fight, nope, Armenian general's unit has now fled. The general is not dead though, the general did not actually die. So, oh no he did, he did, these guys saw it. I don't know how they saw it all the way back here, but these guys didn't. Anyway, let's get back into the fighting. We do sort of some more of the Thracian nobles starting to break their way up here now. Going to get into some of the Armored Axe Warriors. The unit of the Armored Axe Warriors actually just sending off some more fireballs. And here we go. Some of... Oh my god. Wow, those fireballs just did a ton of damage. I mean, it's just the Rayo Spears, but they did a ton of damage. Actually getting all the way down to here too. Getting into the Royal Peltas General. I don't think they hit any of the Hellenic Royal Guard, though. But we still do have another fireball over here. Nope. Not going to get involved. So now the defenders are still pulling back even further. Going to probably get behind the Sharp Stone Bed. Odrissian Kingdom now starting to make his way forward. Wonder, just, just because I'm wondering, does... Oh, it's gone. Never mind. I was going to say, does the Kush Artillery still have ammo? Because he could easily turn around start volleying could the uh, Carthage artillery still I don't know why he's firing from all the way back over here unless he's just letting AI do what it wants to do look at this carpet oh god that is so many dead and here we go another huge volley coming in not making contact with anything at all but it looked cool it definitely looked cool with the with the shot coming in over the wall like that and hitting nothing. It looked cool. So many dead. Wow. So many dead. Armenia still has a decent amount of infantry left inside. Kush, let's see what Kush still has. Two units of Shotels, one unit of armored Shotel warriors, some Royal Kushite archers, and that looks like that's going to be the end of the Kush army. Armenia still does have a decent amount. Like I said, he has lost his general. But, uh, actually, that's two generals down for the defenders. Two generals down for the defenders. What do we still have? Armenian general. I'm sorry. The Arverni general. Carthage general. I don't think the attackers have lost their general yet. Oh, wait. Here comes the Royal Peltas general for Egypt. Getting up here. Does he not have... A oh, he doesn't. Egypt really doesn't have a lot of forces left either. Wow. The Linux Royal Guards starting to try and make their way through these breaches. No! No! Odrissian Kingdom, stop firing! Don't fire here. Manually fire up there. 
Don't fire here. You're hitting Egypt's dudes. Oh, there's a unit of Thracian nobles that just broke. Not good. Yeah, the artillery still coming in, still firing. Drissian Kingdom, you need to hold. Stop firing. You just keep. Probably going to get a lot of friendly kills. The Germanic Pikes now pushing out against the Hellenic Royal Guard. The Hellenic Royal Guard not looking good. 23 left in this unit with 63 kills. This unit here with 60 men left, 87 kills. comes the Thracian general charging up here now. Trying to break through, I guess, but he's going to get into some of the Germanic Noble Guard. I think they're pretty good infantry units, so I don't know why Odrissian Kingdom would send his general in there like that. Unless maybe he's trying to even the odds out a little bit for the, def for the attackers and the defenders. Uh, 14 minutes left in the battle. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. If you are, please make sure to hit that like button. Feel free to drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought would have been a better... Oh, got some Armenian noble archers down here chasing down some Gaulic hunters. There you go. That's a good move. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, what you guys, uh, what you guys would have done, certain situations and everything. But it does look like, yeah, this, this side's pretty much defended. I mean, there's really no infantry left over here aside of the Osborne general, so... Not really going to be focusing on this side of the battlefield anymore. Let's get back over on this side. This last massive choke point here. Looks like Odrissian Kingdom just charged all of his stuff in. He charged everything in. So I'm guessing that Odrissian Kingdom just said, I don't care anymore, and charged. That's what it looks like to me. Egypt looks like he's still trying to maybe be a little bit, uh, you know, have some tactics or whatever. But Odrissian Kingdom looks like he just charged in. These Thracian nobles probably will do a decent amount of damage. Starting to break some of the Wardenized Spears there. Are the Germanic Pikes still here? Still, where'd they go? The Germanic Pikes. One unit pulled away. I don't see the other unit. Germanic noble women archers up on the walls here. Probably still have ammo. I don't know. You should probably be better served down here on the ground to get some volleys into that just massive amount of infantry right here at this front. Actually, is the noble, yeah, is the Odrissian general still alive? I don't think he is. Nope, Odrissian kingdom general has died. There goes his unit. Breaking away, seven men left, 49 kills. And here comes the Dacian Heavy Onager, very, very, very close to the front line. I hope they don't do what I think they're going to do, and what I think they're going to do is use it to push through. Nope, looks like he's going to fire from here. Oh. Uh, okay, he shot the tower. I don't think that's what he meant to do. That... You're using the wrong piece, dude. Please switch to another one. Because you just shot your own artillery piece in the back. Should still have... Yeah, he's got more shit. Oh! Okay, well, he destroyed one of his own artillery. That's... That's a first. That is definitely a first here on the uh, Joe Wanna... Chip. Still firing at his own pieces. I mean, he, he killed... Nothing still, actually. He hasn't killed anything from the defenders. Now he's going to move. He's going to move them over. I would have just page up, page down, switched to another piece of the artillery and start using that one to fire. What is Carthage doing? I just want to see what they're doing. Oh, the Osborne General's charged up. Let's see what he's up to. 43 kills. Only lost one man so far. Taking on... Armored Axe Warriors, and actually he's getting ready to break a unit of Armored Axe Warriors here. So maybe there's still life over here. If these archers all come in, maybe there's still life on this side. I might have been a little early on, on saying that. Down to He's lost five now, though. So he's starting to lose some more men. 
Uh, actually, we have a unit of the Armored Axe Warriors coming around. Looks like they're pretty much just going to do the exact same thing they did last time. Just come in and attack that Oast one from behind. But back over on this side, looks like some of the... the oh, he's, he's trying again. Let's see, does he have any extra kills now? 127, so he has actually gotten some good kills. He's not shooting his own men anymore or his own artillery pieces. That's good. Germanic Noble Guard started to waver, and here we go. The floodgate kind of opened here for the Thracian Nobles. Three units of those. Try oh, sorry, four units of Thracian Nobles here starting to break through, being held up by a unit of the Germanic Noble Woman Archers. So we do have the beginnings of the fall here for the defenders. One final unit of Germanic Noble Guard here, along with the Germanic Noble Women Archers, so... Oh, wait a second, the Oswan got through? Oh man, Armenia must not have been paying attention. Oswan General now charging in behind these Armenian pikemen. Nope, he stopped. What just died? What just died? The Carthage General just died. Why? How did he die? How did he die? Did he get shot by his own men? Probably. He probably did. Oh no, these axe warriors here got down there and killed the general. Inter Damn. Uh, Pikes have moved back over here for Armenia. They're gonna. They actually have the Oswan general currently surrounded, but I think he's gonna be able to get out of there. If they focus and break this unit of the axe warriors, they can pull away. Looks like the attackers have captured this front passway here as well. So the archer towers are definitely going to start firing in their favor. But this Oswan General not looking good. Really, really not starting to look good over there. Let's get back over on this side. Odrissian Kingdom just starting to muscle his way through. Final unit there of the Germanic Noble Guard about to shatter. So here we go. A whole slew of Thracian nobles now starting to run these streets of this inner keep here I don't think the attackers still have no they don't have any cavalry left over here probably should have held the cavalry to be able to get in here and start doing some damage probably get some rear charges in and everything the uh, Germanic noble women archers up on the wall here not even being challenged so they're just firing away I mean the royal Th the royal Peltas general could absolutely be up here starting oh wait, okay he's up into one of the units that's good at least that is good to see. Starting to attack some of these noble women, but these other two units here just getting a, just getting free shots in. Swing back over on the other side. O Sworn General has now been removed from the battlefield. Wow. So another general gone for the attackers. Doesn't look like his general actually died though. He's just broken. Just broken. Here comes the Carthaginian general. He's going to start making his way around. Ten men left in that unit. But I think the general... Yeah, the Carthage general is dead. So this is just the bodyguard that's left. Woden has spears here. Another unit of Germanic Noble Guard making their way over. So I don't think the general is going to go very far. Where is he going? Where is the general going? I don't know. But Armenia having zero to fear still on this side. I mean, there's archers coming up, which, I mean, they, they could still cause damage. I mean, these Gallic Hunters, they are decent, decent archers, I feel. They still have some Cretan archers and a Balearic Slinger here as well. I don't know where the Carthage General's going, but it looks like he's about to be cut off. Yeah. This Noble Guard's about to make their way over here, so that General's not going to be around very much longer. Thracian Nobles now up on the wall here, helping the Royal Peltas get rid of yet another unit of the noble archer, noble woman archers there. And here they come. They're going to make their way over this way too. Dramatic noble and archers, 79 kills. But here we go. Thracian nobles, exhausted, but they're going to get in here and start cutting these women up. There you go. Those those Germanic, yeah, they're probably going to be gone. Here comes the Royal Peltas General. So let's see what is still here for this town center defense. Armenia. He's got 
Axe Warriors as that guard, Armored Pikes as that guard, and Axe Warriors. That's it. Six, one, two, three, four, five. Five units here. Going to try and defend off against... Oh, wait, look at this. Armenia sending out some of his archers down here, breaking the Balearic Slingers there for Carthage. Might have wanted to take a little bit more care of his archers there, or slingers there. They could have absolutely come in use. Golic Hunters here, though, getting a good rear charge in on some of the Armenian armor archers. Engage! The Carthage General Unit is still alive. I thought they would have been broken. How did they get around? I don't know how they got around that noble infantry there, but let's get back over here. Oh, the Macromani general is now dying. So here we go. We are in the actual victory point. Being neutralized now. Let's see how... Yeah, these noble, these Thracian nobles looking pretty beaten up. 97 kills, 70, 119, 104, and 48. Still more coming in. Another unit there, 212 kills. Pikes, 117, but there's only 13 left in that unit. 18 left in this unit, 196 kills. So the attacker's really not having a lot of pikes left. But here we go, three she nobles. Nope, they're gonna pull back. Three minutes, 58 seconds left in this battle replay, guys. And if these attackers can still get the rest of these Golic Hunters up here, I mean, they have a chance. They definitely have a chance. Actually, a unit of the Hunters coming in, getting a charge in onto the back of this wooden ass spear unit. Who's now switching into their wedge, which will bring up their melee attack, but... Oh, well, it's just archers. Not really that big of a deal. Uh, I don't know where the... Yeah, Honager crew is going all the way around over here. Could have easily just walked right through there. But we do have one unit of the Gala Conscious that have made their way over. They have 77 kills, so they may have a little bit more ammo. Daisy and Onager crew still sitting out here. 29 men left in that unit. Really nothing just happening yet. Well, the Odrysians, the Thracian nobles starting to make their way up this final hill here. And here we go. The combat is about to get underway in this town center. Armored Axe Warrior is going to come down, get a side charge in onto these Thracian Nobles. Good job there by Armenia. Up on this side, we do have the Royal Peltas General for Egypt taking on some Azat Knights, or Azat Guard. Armored Axe Warriors on this side as well. So the town defense, like I said, is down to one player. One player has to defend off all of this stuff. Linux Royal Guard not in position. Pikes are not down, but I don't think that Axe Warrior unit is going to survive. Ooh, but did he do what he needed to do? Breaking one of the Hellenic Royal Guard. Nope, they're going to die. They did break one of the units, though. One of the units of Pikes is gone. That is definitely a good sign. Some Woden has spears still just hanging out over there. Carthage General is actually charged in on this side as well. But he's down to 10. Still 10. Drissian kingdoms. Oh, his Thracian nobles are shattering. Probably because he lost his general. Because he charged his general into melee. Never a good idea. Especially when there's pikes around. Come on, Golic Hunters. Let's see what you can do. Oh, you're out of ammo. No good. No good. Minute 30 left. I'm going to say this is the uh, defender's victory here. Sure, a lot of you guys probably said that from the beginning of the replay, but hey, you never know. You never, never, never know. With how Kush broke over here, with Kush losing his general, I, I didn't know how well this was still going to be able to be held on this side. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe this will not be a defender's victory. We don't know. 57 seconds left. There's only two units left. One unit there wavering for the defenders. His Azad Guard and his Armenian Pikes are still here, but they may waver. 46 seconds left. Advance 
Pike's pulling away from combat. Looks like they're just trying to save themselves for as long as they can. 28 seconds left now. No, the, oh, the Pikes. Pikes are starting to waver. 20 seconds left. This Azak guard unit needs to hold. 12 seconds. 28 men left in this unit. Trying to run away. Three. Wow. Costly victory for the defenders. If that one unit had broken, that would have been amazing. That would have been amazing. All right, let's get into Armenia here. Battle was sent in by Enores. Thanks, bud, for sending in the replay. His general, 198 kills. All four of his units of archers doing great. 150, 241, 261, 184. His pikes here with 148. Axe warriors, 179, 105, 139, 130. Uh, Azak guard, 158, 155. Eastern axe warriors, 141. And one unit of his eastern infantry here, 151 kills. Saiban Siban Sibanzen 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 Hey there we go Germanic noble general here 103 kills his arch is really not a whole lot top there 96 noble guard 109 134 Germanic pikes really not a whole lot of kills Germanic swordsman 149 uh getting into his wooden ice spears not a ton top kill there is 90 and then it's two units of wolf warriors there one unit with 100 kills Kush here with Hazargo, 85. Kushai Royal Guard, not a single kill for his general unit. His archers doing pretty well, 173, 164, 187, 118. Armored Chotels, 146, 368, 263. Well done there. Kushai Pikes, 163. Not, not the worst. Not the worst in the world. Chotel Warriors, 163, 124, 132. Uh, 107. There you go. That will wrap that out. Captain Merica here with Odrysian Kingdom. His Onager, 154 kills. His archers, really not a whole lot. Thracian Nobles, 237, 158, 103, 149, 112, 167, 110. And his Thracian Warriors, top kill there, 111, second with 94. Egypt here, his general, 142 kills. His archers, really not faring very well. His slingers, just not really doing anything either. Uh, Hellenic Royal Guard, 211 and 118. Wow, look at that. Royal Thorax Swordsman, top 127. Not a good showing for them. Thorax Swordsman, again, same. Not a good showing. Top 140. And the 3 Spears, that top unit there, 104. Then we get into our Verney. His Osworn General, 113. Two units of cavalry, top was 54. Archers, top 88. Others, Osworn here, 108, 109, 120. Chosen Swords, not a whole lot of kills. And we saw the Naked Warriors just get absolutely murdered. And then we have here... Carthage, his general, 93 kills. Onager, 131. Archer, top kill, 86. African Pikes, 105. Libyan Infantry, not actually top kill, 100, uh, 104. Noble Fighters, 94, 99. And his Sam Knight Warriors, 105. Okay, guys, that's going to be the end of the battle here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like I said, please make sure to hit that comment button. Feel free to drop a like. Yeah. Drop a like. Feel free to drop a comment. There we go. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And until the next one.